Hello everyone. My name is Dr. Rajiv Ratna Shah. I am faculty at Triple IIT Delhi in the Department of Computer Science and Engineering and the Department of Human Centered Design. I am excited to offer this course on human computer interaction as part of NPTEL. SCI is an interdisciplinary field that combines insight from computer science, psychology, design and engineering to create system that foster effective and efficient interaction between human and machines the goal is to design intuitive and user friendly technologies that enhance usability accessibility and overall user experience in today's technology driven world sci plays a vital role in addressing diverse user needs be at an expert or novice its application ranges across different real world problem around us be it education finance healthcare transportation and so on by prioritizing human centered design sci bridges the gap between complex technology and the user needs it empowers individuals and foster innovation to solve real world problem around us this course covers several topics across 12 weeks so that ranges from introduction to sci then we'll be talking about what is design design principle design process subsequently we'll be discussing about what all the interaction is there between human machines what are the interaction types we will also be discussing in details about user perspective understanding what are the pain point the user have with the existing system what the new system should have to address the needs of the different users we will be creating different persona will be uh, learning different technologies and the methods subsequently we'll be talking about what all the interfaces are there which help uh, bridging the gap between the user and the machines we will also be discussing about different data gathering techniques the how to analyze the gathered data what are the ethical consideration we need to have while creating the data how to understand the need of the users who are going to use our system we will be discussing the needs of building prototypes what are the different techniques to build prototypes we will be discussing uh, low fidelity prototype mid fidelity prototype and high fidelity prototype here fidelity is referring to how close the build prototype is similar to the actual product we will also be discussing about iterative design and the evaluation we discuss the need of why do we need to have iteration in any user centered design system primarily because it is not possible at all for us to understand all the requirement or the needs of users at one go often these requirement arises when users start playing with the systems we will be discussing about emerging technologies like internet of things large language models at the intersection of sci and we will demo the same with the existing tools and the products around us this course also highlight the importance of privacy and security in any human centered design product that we are going to build we also discuss in details how to build an sci based system which ensure privacy and the security of the users finally we'll be discussing about how to build an ai and sci based conversation systems what features they should have and what they should avoid as part of this course we will be having panel discussion among the brilliant student that we have on some of the topics covered in different weeks we will also be having uh, weekly tutorials on the different topics covered in the classes we will also be giving assignments which will help you in practicing what you have learned in these classes most of the classes will have case studies around the real world problem around us and we'll see how the different human centered design principle and sci fundamentals can help you in solving those problem efficiently effectively and improving overall user experience i hope this course will help student develop skills to design impactful solutions for real world problem around us i'm looking forward to working with you thank you hi everyone i am yaman kumar singla a research scientist at adobe media and data science research 
where i focus on understanding and modeling human behavior my work addresses critical challenges in predicting explaining and influencing human behavior spanning areas such as personalization recommendation systems propensity modeling and persuasion human computer interaction it plays a pivotal role in my research offering insights into how people interact with one another and also with digital interfaces a notable example of this is my recent work on evaluating the engagement potential of generative models including llms and diffusion models additionally i explore ways to leverage these models and create uh, highly engaging content hi folks i'm varnika and i'm currently working as a product manager Throughout my college, I was involved in human-computer interaction courses and research. My studies in HCI have profoundly impacted my career as a product manager. In fact, it led me towards my passion for building products. So, how has HCI helped me? Um, it helped me foster a user-centric mindset, build a research aptitude, and also enhanced my collaboration with various stakeholders like design teams, customer support teams, etc. Hence, I encourage anyone in a product role to consider exploring HCI. Hi, everyone. I'm Angel Valia, and I work as a product manager in the gaming industry. So, what is HCI? HCI is nothing but the study of how um, humans interact with technology. And on a day-to-day -day basis, on a, as a product manager, while I am making new features for the game, the principles of HCI come in real handy. we are constantly talking about how good ui and ui ux practices help enhance the gaming experience how user mental models are and how our features will actually impact it or change it so once uh, we had pushed out a feature which actually did uh, did change the way how players were actually interacting with the game and they did not like that so we got a lot of complaints and we actually had to revert it so the principles of hci like studying the principles of hci with the and making informed decisions on to games is something which is really important and it also ensures that players are having an immersive and engaging gaming experience